this side we have some royal <coughs> whiptail eggs. This is day one, they were spawned last night. And uh, there's about, looks like there's about six infertile, but we'll give them the benefit of the doubt for now. We'll see how we go. On the other side, we have uh, probably another 200 to 300 Venustus eggs uh, that were spawned last night. There's clearly a good number of them infertile, uh, but we'll wait and see. We'll give them the benefit of the doubt. And in amongst them, we've got about 30 uh, OB Zeb eggs, uh, which are actually now about seven days old, so they've been hatched for about two days. They're, they really shouldn't be mixed with the younger eggs, but we'll let them there for a little while anyway. They won't do any harm until they get a bit bigger. And we'll just see how those Mustis eggs go, whether they're fertile or infertile. Okay, I'll just wait a few more seconds for the pulse, yep, to shift the eggs. There we go. That's basically day one of the Mustis eggs and day one of some royal whiptails. Not generally recommended to be putting in the same tank at the same time because the royal whiptails obviously don't like the GH and the PH of uh, the African cichlids. But I've done it before uh, with Prisonos and royal whiptails and um, other forms of L numbers. So we'll see how we go, it should work.